This is Marvin. I met Marvin on May 19th, 2019 when my brother pointed out two curious raccoons. I grabbed a handful of dog food and started tossing it in their direction. One got nervous and walked away. The other stuck around to feast and I inched him closer and closer until he took two pieces of dog food from my fingertips. I thought this was a one night adventure. It was not. Marvin likes dog food. He likes it a lot. He also likes peanuts. He doesn't like tomatoes. Neither do I. I meet him here two or three evenings per week to feed him. I read somewhere that you shouldn't feed them every night because they'll forget how to find their own food. Sometimes, if I can't be there at the right time to feed him in person, I leave a small pile of food on the ground. It's always gone by morning. Marvin likes people. He doesn't mind if they stand by and watch, as long as they're really quiet and really still. He doesn't like dogs. He doesn't like sudden movements. He has no problem with cameras as long as they're standing still. Wait, is that? Oh. This is Marveen. She likes dog food. She likes it a lot. She doesn't like tomatoes. Neither do I. She likes peanuts. She doesn't like dogs. And she has a cub. I saw it for myself. I didn't get it on camera. I almost decided not to finish this video. On August 11th, or maybe a day or so before, it's hard to say, Marvine and her baby both tried to cross the road near my driveway. They didn't make it. I almost gave up on the video because I didn't want to tell a sad story. This was supposed to be a happy story. But after I thought about it, I decided it's not a sad story. It's a sad ending, for sure. But I don't think the ending defines the story. This was Marvine. She liked dog food. A lot. She didn't like tomatoes. She liked peanuts. She didn't like dogs. She was a mother. She was not a pet. She was on her own wanting nothing more than food and safety for herself and her young. But she chose to trust. And that's a happy story. This is Harriet. <laughs>